Let's start off with Mark Ingram. I love the fit for the Baltimore Ravens last year when Lamar Jackson was the quarterback. They ran about 64% of the time. Ingram goes from being an RB3 to being potentially a high-end RB2. He's still got a lot of gas left in the tank. Moving on, Golden Tate. He stays in the NFC East from the Eagles to the Giants, and this is a very good fit. Why? Well, because he's a big yards after the catch guy, and he's going to be catching passes from Eli Manning. Wouldn't be surprised if he led the Giants wide receivers in targets. Jared Cook goes from Oakland to New Orleans. Now, he was the fifth best tight end in fantasy football last season. He led the Raiders in targets. He had a career season. So I say this is more of a push because now in New Orleans, he's probably third or fourth in terms of options in the passing game. Michael Thomas is there. Alvin Kamara is there. I say he's probably a back end tight end one. Moving on to my beloved Dallas Cowboys and Randall Cobb. Good fit. He'll replace Cole Beasley, who averaged right around 83 targets in his last three seasons with the Cowboys. I say Cobb, if he can stay healthy, will get 80 to 100 targets, probably worth a late round pick. And finally, Tevin Coleman, who goes back to Kyle Shanahan's offense with the San Francisco 49ers. That I like, and I think Coleman's definitely the running back to get from a fantasy perspective. Where I don't like the fit, Jarek McKinnon is still in the mix. Matt Breed is still in the mix, so I worry about a potential backfield committee, but the fit is good. And remember, Coleman had his best fantasy season under Shanahan while they were in Atlanta together.